In the Tamiki style Aikido, we have some turns. And I can't tell you where these came from or where they changed, but then the original Tamiki, they did one thing. And now all of a sudden we're doing this as, as the turn. We're doing this as the second turn. I've got Brad here and he's going to do the original Tamiki turns so that you can at least see them and understand what happened. Now the first one of those was changed to this turn. I don't know why, but it just was. So that's what we in this style of Tamiki Aikido do. And this is kind of a, a push. I'm gonna push up to the top of my head and I will turn when it tells me to turn. And this is a structure thing. If Brad comes over here and pushes down on this, if I'm not over my head, if I'm out someplace, it just collapses. You know, but if I'm over my head, you know, he might be able to move me a little bit. But the thing is, we're doing this normally in motion. Like uh, if you've done the releases, like on the seventh release, I'm sorry, the, the fifth and the, yeah, the fifth and the seventh, if he takes, and I'm taking my step, and I go over the top as he's taking his step, it's kind of safe for me to go under the arm. If I start going under the arm before it's time, it's not, it's not safe and it doesn't uh, give me the structure that uh, I will get in the middle of his step. Because if he tries something in the middle of that step, <laughs> it allowed me to go a different direction. They can't tell, but I tried something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tried something and it told me, I'm not going to get up here. He, he tried something about in here. And that's why I turned back that way. If, uh, let's do it this way. If he tries that, from here, then I go back. If he waits till we're at the top of it, then he has to eat all that energy because I'm structurally sound and he's not in the middle of a step. <laughs> 